Okay, we're gonna go over our hiking setup. Hannah, are you wearing what you would be wearing? Um, everything but the socks. Yes. Socks and. What else? Show me. Okay. You have either your bandana on. Or either my hat. bandana or my hat. Okay. Great. And then my gloves. And also your hiking gloves and your gaiters. And you have your toe socks and your marina wool socks, right? Right. I forgot my money. <laughs> okay. Alright, hold the camera and look at me. I'm wearing what I would be wearing. Shirt works out good. It sweats a lot, but it dries quick. Sometimes when it's really hot, it doesn't dry quite quick enough when it's bedtime. So I might want to pack a lightweight undershirt or t-shirt, like a poly cotton blend maybe. You could maybe pack Faith one of those. Other than that, um, worked out good. Pants are good. They're just getting worn. I need to replace them. Got a little hole going on in the butt. <laughs> um, <laughs> boots were okay. They're, here's the biggest problem with the boots right here is that they're waterproof. They're Gore-Tex. So... When it's raining, they eventually get wet and they take forever to dry out. Um, I sewed this on the back. It helps with the gaiters. Hand me the gaiters. So, the gaiters have a, have the Velcro on there. This is the hook part. This is the loop part. So I sewed it on there. It pulled it away pretty easily. Worked good. You know, I did this part right here to, to be able to hook the fronts in. But might might go with a different boot next time. The ankle support was nice. This was nice, but we'll see. So, this is what I would be wearing. In addition to this, I would also have my hiking gloves and my poles. Let me go over my poles real quick. I need to replace the poles with a solid pole. Both these poles broke on the trip. This one's broken completely and there's nothing but tape holding it together. And this one, the cord, the rope that holds them together broke and I had to fix that. Hannah's poles are the same ones Grace has used last year. Um, they're still okay, but they're worn down to the nubs. So they need replaced. Uh, we ran out of fuel and I didn't, I forgot to do the packages, send the drop mail, mail packages with fuel. So we had to buy some on the trail and the one place I was gonna buy it, they didn't have it. So the shuttle driver brought us some, he brought us one of the big ones. That did last us the whole rest of the trip. So three quarters of the trip and there's still fuel in it. But I still would like the smaller ones. Grace got me a smaller pillow. I might use next time. Alright. So other than that, this is the additional stuff I would have on. Um now let me go through my pack. So on the outside, I have a spoon. Hannah and I took one spoon, I'll show you in a minute. It's on the inside of the cup that folds. It did not work well. We ended up buying this spoon there because the one that folded, it was bending too easy and then food got caught into it and it was hard to clean. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. So next time we're gonna go with this spoon. I got it right there right now. I don't know if there's a better place to put it. If there is, I gotta figure it out. I don't know if that's the best place, but that's where it is right now. It's, that's where I had it when Grace and I hiked too. But So here I have 
my sandals and stuffed way down below that is my pants, my rain pants. So that's the only thing in there. The additional to that is I put my little wallet. So I got um, some cash. Um, in here I got cash, some write in rain paper, um, my credit card, and my ID. That was, that was the only, this was basically my wallet. Um, it did get, make sure you put it in a Ziploc bag. So what I could do is put that clear in the bottom, then put this in, clear in the bottom, and then the shoes. So that works out okay. Originally, I had the uh, money stuffed in here behind this padding. I realized that was a bad idea because this is open. It could have came out there. I thought this was kind of all sewed up, but it's it's not. It's all open. But luckily, I didn't lose it. Okay. So in here is my chair and the tent. So this is the tent, and the chair is. That's the tent itself. I'll go over Hannah's in a second, but she carries the... Sometimes I carry the poles, but she carried the poles most of this time. And Grace and I, I, I carry the poles. And so here's my chair. So I keep the chair on this side. So if I'm wearing the pack, it's on this side. If I'm looking at the pack, it's on this left side. Um... So that gives me enough room to stuff the tent beside that. Okay. So with that being said, if I was going to hike alone and if I wanted to save more weight, I would probably not take the shoes and I would not take the chair and I would um, have this whole area for my tent stuff. This is my poop kit. When Grace and I hiked, we had one poop kit that was shared. I think it was a little bit better with Hannah and I. We had two poop kits that we, um, we each had our own. So the dude wipes with the 18 are the way to go. That'll get you about um, halfway through the trip. So you need about two of those each for the whole trip. Be about right, Hannah? Yes. And then toilet paper. That's not enough toilet paper. Mm -hmm. We never seem to have enough toilet paper. And I have the body glide and then the hand sanitizer. One of those full per if each person had one of those full, it should get us the whole, it should get you the whole trip. Right. About this size. This is two fluid, two ounces. So that's the entire trip kit. Easy access. Kept it on my left side. Water filtration, is everything for water filtration is below that. This is just a cheap, Water bottle smashed up that you can you can re-smash open for scooping low water puddles and stuff, and then the bee free, which I really like. Um, in here, I have the nun also to add, and typically we would put two two tablets. You got to break them to put them in there two tablets, so breaking, so actually four things you're putting in there. And then I have one in each. And if we do, we'd fill the liters up between a half and three quarters. And that would get us a good, most of the time, three or four miles. <coughs> Obviously you need more if it's really hot. Mm -hmm. We found these to be a little bit better, these Voost ones. I really like the vitamin D one. 
that's what I would get next time instead of the nuns. Um, two of those, forget how many's in there, 20. So two of those would probably do the whole trip. And you might need is all these nuns. So that was extra weight that we carried that we didn't really need. So just two of those would get 250 miles. You could send one in a drop box. But that was always on this uh, this left side of me. And then if I carried the poles, I would also put those down in here and they would come up here and they would attach um, with this setup like this. Faith, hand me those poles. If I was going to carry the poles, they would be like this. Okay. On this side, I carry just my, um, you have like some spare Ziploc bags, my sit pad and knee pad and then my uh, bandanas and, some, and I put my gloves sometimes in here at night and then this is a body washcloth and uh, I also have some rope and a bear uh, hanging kit just in case This would be better with a different color. We do a little person on it to know that it's for washing your body. So you won't get it mixed up with the stuff you're drying the food with. Okay. That's about it for there. So inside, um, let's go to the outside. Right side, I always have my gun and um, my spray. So I had to spray either in there or just like that. And then my gun, my knife, and my pen. Just pretty much the only things in there. Left side. With all my electronics. I have them in this ditty bag. And here's all my electronics. So, most of the time, my, oh, what's in my pockets would always be my whistle and my phone. So if it was raining, my phone would also be in a Ziploc bag. In a ditty bag. And if it was raining, I would take the ditty bag and I would take it out of here. And I would put it inside this with the pack cover. And the pack cover is underneath here. So I have my, I have my raincoat. And below the raincoat is the pack cover. So this is supposed to be waterproof, but found it's found it to not be completely waterproof, and that's why if it was raining, I would put it inside the pack. But the Nightcore N25, I think it is, did really well. Um, I think I want to. I'm going to buy one for Faith next year and all the other kids. It worked well. We need to redo the strap thing. I'm not so much worried about the weight, but it takes up extra space with that strap. So I need to redo the bungee cord deal with that. Other than that, worked really well. Um, the MP3 player, and then I gotta have the ear earbuds for the MP3 player with the jack. 
because that doesn't, my phone doesn't have a jack anymore, so that's for listening to music and books and whatever. So the, the, uh, this worked really well. This is the, I think a 10,000 milliamp. Yeah, this is a 10,000. Could easily get about four charges out of it. Um, worked well. So then I'm gonna make sure you have this charger. This charger has the two USB ports. This is 18 watts. I got my initials on it. Um, it says on the back 18 watts. And this is nice because it, it folds up and stores a little bit easier because it folds up like that. So I like that charging block. So this, and then this of course, would, I would use this gray one. So this would go to here. And then this would go to here to charge. And then I could go from here to my phone. And then I had two, one for there to charge here and one from here to charge the phone. And these are the, they are both the same. So you won't really need to, but, and this one is a little bit longer. So I could get a shorter one to save on weight and space um, and it would work fine. But uh, I just went with what I had. And those, uh, you know, make sure you have two of these. Two of these technically three because this one's the same so three of those and then the phone charger and then I, we have this for inside the tent we could hook it on the top of the tent flip that and that would that worked really well inside the tent pretty lightweight nice little add-on so that is my ditty bag set up. Okay, going on inside the thing else on the outside. This, I drilled this this year. Worked well, but when you drink it, it collapses the bottle. So um, I need to make one that has some kind of, I need to either figure out a vent or I need to buy one that has a vent. We met a guy from Czech Republic. He had one that the cap had the vent built in. That one was nice. I need to look into that. But these bigger hair ties, I bought some of those. I have extra for next trip. Um, and these ones are actually still fine. Um, they worked well. They're tougher than their, your normal hair ties. You can see how much bigger it is. They're like oversized. It worked really well to hold the water bottle. I got a little push button LED. Never used it, probably don't need it. Compass, never used it, probably don't need it. These are starting to rust. So I might look into getting these keychain rings that are stainless steel. Probably need to check that out. All right, inside the bag. Top of the bag is the food. Always getting in the food three times a day, so at least, if not more. So the food is on top. I'm hiking with it. I didn't seal this up because it would collapse better. At night, I would seal this up to double the smell protection. Because you have that bag inside of this bag. Okay. For this bag. If there's room in here, I would put the cup and the cook kit inside the food bag. If there's not room in the bag, this will just get stuffed on the top and this could get hooked to the outside. It could, either, well, it could either get stuffed in here or it could get hooked to the outside. This clip and with the, on the same as the spoon or you could add another little small carabiner to this or whatever. 
All right, so inside here. So this is nice. This just comes out. This is easy to clean like this. Put it back. There's um, marks to show you cups and ounces and everything you need. So and there's a seal that seals this water tight. And that's why I would keep this stuff in here. The spoon. This is the spoon I was telling you about that we didn't really like. It's just not, you can see how much it bends. It's not super sturdy. It's hard to clean. Food gets caught in these areas. I mean, it works, but not, not good. It's a good backup spoon, though. It's light. It's easy to carry. But to shut it, you squeeze this together, and then it, it spreads that open, and it shuts. But again, not great, but it fits in there easily. That's what I had to protect my smokes from getting smashed. And a, little, a backup lighter that we, we, one lighter went kaput, which is a good lesson on why you should always have a backup lighter. So the backup lighter can go in there and that keeps everything protected from smell and the rain. All right, the cook kit. Okay. All right, cook kit. Inside the cook kit. I had another buff that's missing that's for cleaning too. So, but these these small ones, I like, I like these jet boil ones. It kind of tells you, it says you can get 24 boils, probably more like 18 to 20 out of one of these. So you figure boiling twice a day, morning, sometimes three times a day, morning, sometimes coffee plus your meal. Um, so maybe 10 days or so you would get out of one of these. I would say seven to 10 days. So inside here we have the we have like a washcloth and a drying cloth. Of course we have the stove itself. Yeah. Works well. Don't have any problems with it. Super light. And then the main lighter. That's the cook kit. All right, now food. I'm gonna go through our trash bag here. So, there's a lot of stuff we've already eaten. So these elevation bars, elevation sold at Aldi's, high protein, 20 grams, Really good little breakfast or lunch lunch snack deal. Like the chocolate mint ones. Um, the Swiss Mess salted caramel hot cocoa. That was my secret little mix there. So, you could do the hot chocolate, the Swiss Miss, salted caramel, and uh, breakfast creation, uh, essentials, carnation, instant breakfast, 18 grams of protein. So one of those together, one of those together, and then probably two things of instant oats. That would make a pretty good breakfast. Add that in, that's a real good breakfast. My old coffee feel. This is like kind of con condiments. This could probably get added in there as one bag. But um, ketchup and hot sauce would be nice to add. Um, some RB sauce. Don't get too much of it. Um, the equal or Splenda. 
good for the coffee. And I got some tea. And we really like the hot cocoa tea combo. That was good. That's what daddy invented. <laughs> but the coffee, the Nestle, um, the red ones, the Folgers, I believe they are, I like better. So buy the Folgers for coffee. That's pretty much it with condiments. Um, this one right here, we both really mm, like this one. Yes. This was the beef pasta marinara. The beef stroganoff was good. Um, what was that one we had on the last day? It was pretty good too. But this one is super high in protein, over a thousand calories. So this one was really good. These breakfast ones, these ones were not so good. Um, well, we just had them so much. Yeah, the uh, biscuits and gravy is is better than this. We had a lot for some reason. I thought these were better, but they weren't. They weren't that great. We had them so much. Maybe that's why. Of course, Raymond. Mm. We tried the shrimp flavor. Raymond is good. Bacon. The fully cooked bacon. I think I got that also at Aldi's. I can't remember. That was really nice breakfast or lunch snack. Um, that wouldn't. That would only last about one meal, though, between two people. Of course, candy, little Snickers bars. Um, I really like the smoky bacon cheese. Adding one of these to a dinner. That's what That's it was. That's the other one, chicken Alfredo. That was really good, too. Chicken Alfredo was good. Mm -hmm. um, but adding that, so one of these smaller ones, these are four ounces and then one of these it's like this is another four ounces so these together would make a good dinner um that's pretty much it in there so i have so you have your also your canors you know you can add those um some, uh, some different hot chocolate this is instant um or powdered milk is what this is so that was kind of not really needed. I don't think we really need that. We just used it for a little bit. Um, this is loaded mashed potatoes. So this is one of the bigger ones. So there's, um, you can see the difference between the, that was four ounces. This is the eight ounces. That was a lot. We couldn't really eat all that. Yeah, we don't really want that. Of course, made my gort um as always i add uh, sunflower seeds um pumpkin seeds got the hulls um i add the peanut butter m&ms and regular m&ms and then also add regular chocolate um chocolate chips So I would do, in if I did those breakfasts again, I'd individually wrap them in Ziplocs. And it was just a uh, random or lunch type snack type stuff. These were okay, not, not great. Really, I mean, none of us were really a fan of those. Like, probably in the future, just stick with these and the gorp and be done with it. Just simplifies everything in candy. And gum. It was nice to be able to chew gum. So add gum. Those are so, pretty good. Something like this. The Lord of Dunes was a nice little add addition to add. That's um, it's nice to have like a bread or crunchy uh, um, what do you call it? Okay, so that's pretty much it with food. Now, 
in here. So the compactor bag. So this, so this when it's uh, this kind of gets folded like this, and then the food bag gets put on there because the food bag can get wet. So this is everything that doesn't want to get wet. So this is just a bag I take in to the tent at night. So it'd be this bag. I have my nasal spray, Bistex, the gum, um, Benadryl is a big one. Helped me sleep a lot. My pills. Um, yeah. So then I also at night take in my, take in the tent with me, the spray, my gun, my electronics bag. Outside the tent, right outside the tent would be my water, my boots, um, either my sit pad, these, and my chair. Don't leave your chair up out all night because the dew will get all over it. What I would do is leave the chair frame out and un take the cloth off the chair and lay the chair, lay the cloth right outside the tent. All right, so, just about finished here. So this would be the bag, also an additional bag inside to help. I like doing it, it's not an extra, it's not a whole lot of extra weight and it helps this from getting ripped and then also another layer of water protection. So, my, uh, Thermarest Trail Pro sleeping pad, my uh, 45 degree bag, the Yampa, my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer in purple, of course. Um, so that would go in a tent with me too. I'd put that inside my bag because my my Trail Pro sleeping pad didn't quite cover my elbows, so I would put this underneath one side to help some for some padding. And it was also it would, then it would also be in my bag if I got cold. It would already be in my bag that I could put it on. So it helped with padding, and then I could put it on if I got cold. So I put that in the bag with me. Um, I would lay out my socks. That I'm going to wear for the next day. I have my sock liners and the wools. I would lay those out to wear the next day up in the top of the tent, ready to go, dry. And if it was cold, I would put the socks that I was going to wear, the dry, clean socks that I was going to wear for the next day, I would put those on my feet. Not the liners, but the wools. And go in the sleeping bag with those. So what I carry... What I had in the pack as far as clothing. So I'm wearing, I would be wearing one set of these. And so I'm packing three sets. So three sets of sock liners, three sets of wool, merino wool socks. Here's my pillow. Takes up a lot of space, but it's nice. But again, Grace got me a smaller one. I might use that next year, I'm not sure. I have to try it out. So that would go in the tent. Okay, beyond that, I have my puffer pants. I only wore them one time. I didn't really need them, but nice insurance when you only have a 45 degree sleeping bag so my puffer pants so they're down merino wool shirt wore that once as well maybe twice merino wool pants again or maybe twice, but they're 
They're nice to have in cold weather. Shorts. Wore on the first day and that was it. Probably won't even take them next time. I like having pants. Pants protect you from insects, sun, nettles, plants, water. These dry super quick. I like the pants. I had these as well. Um, these are 100% polyester. Never worn once, so probably would just not take them next time. However, Grace and I did, when it was cold, we did wear those and hike in them. Just an added, if it got really cold, I could put that on. Never needed it, never wore it. And then my hat, I did take that, I did wear that quite a bit in my sleeping bag, because my sleeping bag is a quilt, it's not a bag, and it's not a mummy bag. So that would, uh, that would also go in my sleeping bag every night. And if I didn't need it, it was fine. It was just in the bag with me. If I needed it, it was with me, ready to put on. So that would be more towards the top of the bag. Three pairs of socks, wearing one pair. Worked out well. That would get you four days of hiking with clean socks every day. And hopefully one of those days it's not raining and you could put those socks back as you're sleeping at night. Whichever socks are the most dry, put them in your sleeping bag that night and your body heat will dry them and you could get another day of hiking with those socks. Most wet. Most dry. Okay, Hannah, let's go over to your pack. Okay, she just clips her hair on there. She'd always carry the rainfly and ground cloth in this area. This thing is nice. This is the Tempest 40. This area really expands a lot. It's really nice for that. Worked out well. Continued on that ground cloth, rainfly. And she clips her, clips them on however. Okay, where'd you put your waters would go here, right? What else is in there? Steaks are in one side, I think. This, this, yep. is her, this is the steak, so she'd carry the steaks. And then the poles would be on the side. Yeah, she would carry the poles too. So that's what she's carrying as far as tent-wise. Rain stuff, where's your rain stuff? On the top. Top of the brain is her rain stuff. This is her pack cover. Um, the one we originally had didn't really fit. Got a new one, fits good. The pants, the rain cover, is that it in here? Yeah, my rain jacket, you know, ripped. It's done more. So her rain jacket's ripped. So you gotta get a new one for faith, but rain jacket would also go in there. And outside, the little compass that she probably doesn't need. We have her bear spray here. And what else do you have? I have these things. Okay, what else do you keep in there? Okay, in here I keep my hairbrush, my knife, and then my writing stuff. Okay. And then my other one, um, if it's like not raining, I keep my flashlight. So that's the light we need to replace. Okay. So we'll get another light for that. And then I keep my, uh, you know. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, um, this is the DEET. High level deep, I forget how much, but it's a lot. Okay. And then just my chapstick. And my bear bell, I sometimes put it the outside, sometimes in the inside, yeah. but it gets annoying. Bear bell. Anything else in the side? Just the water bottles. Always use the smart water bottles. They work well. So. Okay, in here. Top is her special bag. And anything else in there? Uh, 
I just had my stuff that I got on the trailer. You know, like the souvenirs and whatever. Okay, trinkets. Yeah. All you guys and whoop to do is can go in there. <laughs> um. Her poop kit. Wussy we'll wipes. We didn't use those much. We might want to use those more next time. Wussy mm -hmm. we'll wipes. The dude wipes. First aid kit. Have to reevaluate this, but there's a, probably a lot that we could do away with. We did use quite a bit of the. Um, um, alcohol prep pads. So I'll probably get a couple more alcohol prep pads. Could do away with the iodine or get a lot less. Probably add, so probably less, keep the iodine, but a lot less and use, um, add uh, Q-tips and some of these pills and stuff we can get rid of. I think this is alcohol that we can probably get rid of. Um, fire starter in there. But yeah, first aid kit. Foot kit, same deal. This size of the Vaseline is one, one and a half, 1.75 ounces. That was good for two people to last the whole trip. And in fact, probably, yeah, it's probably about the right amount. But one of those. These did not work well for me. Um, big toe caps, the silicone ones, but the big the ones for the big toes worked well. So I used mostly the big toe ones, but I did use the, the pinky toe ones too. Um, I used this, had it sealed in there in case it came open, but it's got a hole anyway, so that needs a better setup. A lot of this other stuff can be eliminated. I didn't use it. That was hands athlete foot cream. That needs to be checked a month or two before your trip. You need to start doing foot care to make sure no one has athlete's foot. Toenails are taken care of. This can be half eliminated probably. So the soap cap. So the soap container it works well. No reason to not continue using that. It's fine. Put some this soap in there. And a razor. Okay. She has her this pad, also a thermorass. It's a half pad. Worked well, right, Hannah? I like it. Sleeping bag. She really likes your sleeping bag. So Faith might use that same soap to buy. Okay. What else you got in here? Go through it. So she had two pairs of socks, but she really needed to have three. Same as same as what I packed. So you could have packed three, and then be wearing one, and then three of the liners. But this is all. This is kind of a sock with a liner, though. Did you just get one of those? Um, yeah. That's what we got right before we left, right? Yeah, these are what I have for the liners. Okay, so that's the deal with socks. So this is her merino wool. Shirt I don't think pants. she even wear it. That's um, the shirt and pants. I wore the pants once. So she had her puffer. I wore that a lot. She wore a puffer a lot. Same one Grace wore. Puffer pants. I don't think she wore it all, but if it was cold, she yeah. might have wore that one time, don't you? Yeah, it looks like an egg. Put it on. Is it warm? It is very warm. The little booties. Down booties, did you wear those? Oh, uh, I think I wore them once, like last season or something. But not really. 
might need to look into getting a pair of those for myself. Bigger. <laughs> Obviously. Your shorts. I didn't wear those very much. Sometimes I have hostels and stuff. <laughs> Whatnots. <laughs> or, uh, it's a good little hoodie jacket. How much did you wear that? I wore that a pretty good. Yeah. This is a poly, polyester, spandex, whatever. 94%. Yeah, that's a good one. more whatnots, and uh, pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Here we go. I think that covers everything.